this is Lindsay Smith and today um, I'm doing the video tutorial for the LS Paint on Sky. Um, a lot of people were curious uh, thinking that I was using multiple actions whenever I did the video demo. I was just showing you how many skies there were within the set. <clears throat> so first make sure your actions tab is open. Click window. Make sure your actions has a little check mark by it. Here is mine. So I'm going to click this little lined bar right here. I'm going to click load actions. And excuse me, I just have allergies. Now if you go to my site, if you don't have the Paint on Sky collection, you can get the Paint on Sky mini freebie to try it out before you purchase it. And since it's already in here, I'm just going to go back and I'm going to click button mode. And I'm going to open all these up. And these are all the skies you can choose from. There is 48 of them. Okay, so now that they're all open, I'm just going to go through one by one so you can see them all. And I'll start from the bottom and work my way up. So since this is a black layer mask, you want to paint with a white brush. And I'm going to hit mine down to about maybe 40%. And you can do this one of two ways. You can just start painting and then after paint them off of your subject. And then I'm going to click my black brush, switch over to it. I click X, or you can click this little 90 degree arrow angle, it will switch them. I'm just going to paint it off of them. I'm going to stay away from the edges because I don't want that weird haloing effect. See how it did that just now. Okay. So now it's painted off of my subjects, but you can click your background layer. You can make a copy. This is another way you can do this. You can click your um, selection tool. And just make sure they're selected, you know, from the skyline. And since they are about here. I'm going to scroll this all the way up. And then you'll see that they are completely cut out. I'm going to shut this off until the very end. I'm going to hide and I'm just going to go up and let you see each color on this image. And then I'm also going to show you the color pop action, like if you just wanted a little more color or into it. Make sure your sky is selected that you're using on the image. 
and you can turn down your opacity. This one's a little strong. But it just gives it a little more of a flare. So I'm going to hide these. And I want to copy my layer mask. So I'm going to hold the Alt key and I'm going to drag it up to that layer mask. Hold on, baby. Sorry, she's trying to crawl up on me. Hold on. Now these are a little bit subtle, but you can make them as strong as you'd like. If say you want it a little bit stronger, and but you don't want to do the color pop where it is a color burn, um, you can click that layer that you just hit, and you can click Control J, and it'll make it a little bit darker as well. And you can turn that da that layer down to your liking. If it's too strong but that's another way to make it a little bit darker. I kind of really like that one. And that's in the spring nights. Spring nights scaled, I think. And say you want to, I'm just going to use this one for an example. Say you want to clean up your, your mask. Hold Alt and then click. And then, say, because we have our little cutout up here, 
that we don't want their heads here. I'm going to switch over to my white with my blending mode set to normal and I'm just going to And now you can see it's over their faces. But I'm going to go back up to my cutouts and I'm going to click their faces off. And it just cuts them out. Say I wanted to um, feather them just a little bit or I hit control and I click them. Select and mask again. There it is. There is. Sorry, she's pushing buttons on me. Control J to make a copy. I'm just going to drag that back up. Okay, and I think that looks better. I think they're a little too bright for the picture, so I'm going to go to. I've just made a new layer, and it's completely the same. Oops, stop pushing buttons, baby. No, don't push buttons. Don't push them. Don't. Don't you do it. And I'm going to click my levels, because I think they're a lot brighter. Stop. But it doesn't look realistic to me. I'm going to click my levels, and I'm just going to bring them down just a smidge. I'm going to hit control i I'm just going to paint it on lightly, about maybe at a 30-40%, maybe 40. Might help if I actually have to turn it on. Actually, I know what I'll do here. If you don't have it already, um, this is my Latouche finale, which is basically a finishing work for. I'm just going to run that on top of this, so I'm just going to go ahead and flatten my image. Stop.
about 70%. I'm just going to... Oops. Sorry. Make sure your brush is selected. And... Brushing it off of them. And that's about it. I love the finishing action. For me, I, I tend to edit a little bit darker, a little more vibrant than normal. Um, but I think this looks a lot better. So hopefully um, you understood what I did. I just painted over. I guess I could do one more just to show. I'm not going to open all of them up like I did. I'm just going to click earthy tones. We'll do... Mm, yep. Paris looks good. We'll start with this. Ben! Ben! Sorry, my husband called, so switch back to a black brush. And again, going to paint it off of them. Actually, I'll just go back to... No, I'll just paint it off of them. That way I'm not confusing you all too much in case this is the method you all use. I'm going to go down to about 30. Just going to start painting it off, and I'm going to try to stay away from the edges too much because I really dislike the haloing. Just trying to see which one I like the best. Oops. I kind of like those two on together, so I guess you can kind of create combinations with it as well. And then I'm just going to flatten like I did before, and I'm going to show you again the La Touche Finale action, which is the finishing workflow. Um, I use it actually on all of my personal, like when I take pictures, I use it on them. So at about a 60%, I'm just going to paint it off. I think that looks good. So this is the video tutorial for the LS Paint on Sky, and you also kind of got to see the Latouche finale action. Um, we're about to get some really bad storms, actually. So this is all I'm going to do today. It is also Friday. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to get to do a freebie Friday today, but I think I'm going to go on there right now and pick something out. Um, so be tuned for that freebie Friday. It's pretty much a freebie weekend. I've left it open all weekend long because I guess from everybody in the world being on different time zones, I get a lot of emails and they're like, you know, oh, I didn't get to download it. So I leave it up pretty much Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so you kind of have a little bit of leg room to get on there and get to download it. Um, whoops. Hold on one second. I notice it is not painted off of her shirt. So just make sure you don't do a little accident like that. I wasn't even paying attention because I was trying to get my little one. Still same idea. You would take the black brush and you would paint it off of her dress. Um, sorry about that. Um, and I will be posting other video tutorials. And hopefully I will get back on to the Tutorial Tuesday kick. So thanks for watching.